All right, so welcome to lesson four here, everybody. And now we're ready since we have the um, body pretty much finished. We're ready to go ahead and start uh, adding the spike detail on our back here. And the easiest way that we can probably go ahead and do this is if you hit the comma button on your keyboard, the menu for ZBrush will come up here. Just click the brush, go into the curves folder, and we want to use the displace curve here. So you just double click it, and this is going to allow us to draw out a curve here. So we want to draw out a curve here right in the middle of the body. And I'm making sure that I have the symmetry mode on because this way I'll know exactly um, where I am in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw out a curve here. And if you click in the middle of the curve, it's going to allow you to... Um, displace on the body okay so we're just going to work our way down here I'm not worried too right um, too much right now about the actual shape of this all I want to do is just make sure that I can displace it enough so that I can use the um, move brush to go ahead and manipulate this so we just need to go ahead and draw the rest of our curves here so let's just go ahead and draw oops let's go ahead and just draw this out here Okay, draw out the curve, make sure that we manipulate it, displace it enough. Okay. Go ahead and do our next one here. Okay. It's looking fine, so let's go ahead and just draw out our next one. Go ahead and move over and displace another one here. Okay. We need to displace here for, I guess, what would be the butt on the model. And displace that off. Just, and I'm just, you know, as you can see, I'll draw it out and I'll check just to make sure that it's being displaced enough that I'm going to be able to manipulate this. Let's go ahead and draw it on the tail here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and draw out what is going to be our last one here. Okay. And you can see where that um, sort of messes up the tail, but that's fine. I can go ahead and fix that with the inflate brush. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch back to our inflate brush here. And we'll turn the intensity down here. And we'll go ahead and just smooth that back out. Just making sure that we don't get any of the um, ge any geometry in here that we basically don't want. And I'm going to go ahead and manipulate the tail here just a little bit so that it's a little more round and it's not going to be um, sort of overdrawn here. So we just need to go ahead and smooth that out. Okay, so now we can just take our move brush and just start simply manipulating these little spikes. Okay. Just go ahead and just try to make sure that it's going to be the shape that I want here. So come in here and do the third one here.
and we just simply need to take our move brush and edit the shape of these as well as we can here and this should just take you a little bit of time to to really go ahead and manipulate it um, as much as you want and you can see that I'm doing it in small proportions I'm not you know doing it in a sort of massive stroke I'll adjust it you know simply and work from there I'm also going to smooth it out on the body here just so that there really isn't a um, mass of like sort of seam I want to make it as smooth as I possibly can and this is also going to go in with our um, retopology and how we're going to actually go ahead and do our retopology for the most part So let's go ahead and adjust this next one here. Okay. Let's just go ahead and adjust the next one. Oh, that might be too much smooth. And I'm basically just trying to add a lot of variation to them. Um, I don't want them to be so uniform in terms of how the shape is because I want to have at least some variation to them. Nothing in nature is really, you know, that perfect. So... Always go ahead and adjust them as much as you want. I have to scale that one in a little bit. So let's go ahead now and um, maybe grab our pinch brush. Let's go ahead and adjust this one here because the shape doesn't look like it's what I want. Let's go ahead and do this one as well. Okay. Go ahead and smooth that out a little bit. Okay. So now let's go ahead and grab our pinch brush here. And we'll just turn down to a very low intensity here. And we'll just start pinching the, the spikes here. Probably have to adjust with the move brush a little bit, as you can see here. Switch back to your pinch brush. Just work our way through the model. Making sure that we also smooth out the shapes here for where it attaches to the body. Just to make sure that it's not so um, seamed. We want it to be somewhat smooth. Okay. I think that's looking... Um, pretty clean right now you know it's looking decent all 
and I think I'm pretty happy with that. I may just need to inflate a little bit here. Go ahead and just smooth that back. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our model here. And I'm just going to go ahead and see where our tail might be a little bit malformed there. So let's go ahead and just inflate here on the top. Go ahead and smooth that out. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit shift, shift R so I can go ahead and do a BPR real quick. And that looks okay. So maybe just adjust these last little points a little bit. Just simply by pushing in the back here on them so that they sort of have that angular motion to them. So it looks a little more streamlined. Okay. So now that we have that pretty much done, we can start the uh, Reek topology process here and before I go ahead and do that I want to make sure that I can that I save this so we'll go ahead and just save this okay and we will just come over here to our tool sub tool we'll go ahead and duplicate the mesh and rename it to remeshed body okay go ahead and turn off the one that we're not using Come down here to our geometry tab, take a look at our Z mesher, Z remesher, and I'm just going to go ahead and click OK to just remesh it without um, decimating the mesh just to see what I can get from the start here. And you can see that this is just going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and remesh through. And if we go ahead now and take a look at the geometry that it creates, oops, you can see where that geometry is really um, clean and precise in terms of the shape that we actually want. And to me, this looks, you know, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this. And I'm going to go ahead and take this into Maya in the next lesson. So, um, Come on back, and we'll go ahead and uh, export this out of ZBrush if you want to. Um, just go ahead and hit Tool. Go ahead and export this out. And we'll say this is going to be the remeshed body. Um, you'll definitely have to go ahead and decimate your, your high-res objects so that you can take that into Maya's to go ahead and start doing some more of the retopology. Uh, what we'll uh, go ahead and cover in the next lesson. So um, go ahead and come back, and we'll continue to work on it.